Hope you're all still awake. Late night, Maggie here. Last time we got back to McNeil Village. And apparently there's... Well, we ran into the were-tiger last time. Uh, we need to now go hunting for the were-tiger. Uh, a ripper. You're joking. You are no... <laughs> you are no match. Yeah, the enemies, uh, the random enemy encounters just have not changed after all these years. Uh, so we got to go somewhere into Cedar Woods. How about we go back to our treehouse that we started the game at? Tipu. Ryu. Oh, a flashback scene. No! Oh, and we're getting into a battle. You're a nuisance. No, oh, we have triggered the cutscene. You want to go alone? Hmm. My guess you know something about that tiger. In that case, I'll wait for you here. And... Yeah, we have tiger noises. But look who it is! Yep, it's Re. Interesting how he survived the fight with Balio and Sunder, but yet we don't actually see him again until we're an adult. Come on, say it, Re. We know you want to. Doesn't that just beat all? <laughs> So yeah, Re was the Were Tiger. Uh, he has the ability to transform into the Were Tiger. We actually got um, a hint of that when Bunyan sent us up or sent Re up to fight that new. And Re said, "Well, if I was alone, I could have." That's what Re was referring to. I really love a lot of the subtle hints and foreshadowing uh, that the early game has that you probably wouldn't pick up until you've already played through the entire game already. This makes it a nice game to replay. There's a black market. The guys who tried to kill us. The ones working with... Well, we killed the guys who tried to kill. We killed Balio and Sunder came from there. It took me a while, but I finally tracked them down. I kept an eye on who went in and out of the black market from the road. I kept on attacking them. I thought I would avenge you and Tipo. But look how I ended up. I feel a little better now, knowing that at least you're alive and well. But I can't stop. Not until I teach those guys not to mess with me. Or my family. Uh, but Re, I don't think there's anything in the house for us to... We haven't actually been back in here since everything got... Uh, kind of wrecked. Oh, we can't even go upstairs. Alright, well, let's go back and meet up with Gar. 
What happened to the man-eating tiger? He's my friend. To the village. Alright, to the village we go. Or we can get into a battle with some really easy monsters. Or a lone monster. Whatever, one experience. Yay, 145 more battles of this, and Ryu can get a level up. There's got to be a more efficient way. I mean, well, there is. Uh, at this point, Bunyan, we could go see Bunyan if we needed to. Uh, but nobody is going to be on Bunyan at the moment. All right, make me a village. Oh, Loki, because, yeah, he, he kind of had that coming. I guess this man must have made someone angry for some reason. Yeah, because that's the one that put us up to... I wonder if that wasn't Reed just now. Oh no, he must have come back to take revenge on us. Someone came running up and knocked the... Uh, did a little more than knocked him down. Okay, ran towards the manor. That's the hint we need. So yeah, apparently Ree has found some more people that are in connection with that uh, whole gang. I think I understand now why Ree hates these people so much. The mayor's behind all this, right? Yeah. This may not be for me to say, but aren't you interested in getting revenge, Ryu? Like Ree? I see. I suppose things would get out of hand if you used your power. Ah, that's putting it mildly. I mean, what, a weird tiger isn't enough? Let's have a dragon as well. Oh, hey, look. Mayor McNeil is under arrest. And that is who you think it is. Mr. McNeil, you have been found guilty of smuggling... In the name of the King of Windia, I hereby arrest you. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. It wasn't me, really. We know a thing or two about your friends Balio and Sunder, the ones who work for the organization you told us about. But they... are dead, yes? Howdy, Nina. Gar? And Ryu! Long time no see. Uh, this is the infamous mayor, eh? We might be able to tell you a little something about that organization, but first, I think you should send him off to Windia without delay. Alright, Gar. Return to the castle, and take Mr. McNeil with you. I... I... stumbled there. Yes, that is Princess Nina. In, you know, adult form. Now, please tell me what's going on. And through the power of cutscenes, we're all caught up. Hmm. The power of the brood. Ryu? I don't know what to say. It's all so big. 
I only just realized that while I have fought the dragons for almost 500 years, I still almost know nothing about them. Of course, Ryu himself is the one who must be really curious about them, right Ryu? I see. Let's concentrate on more urgent matters now, okay? Don't give me that look. What if Sin City is the headquarters of that gang? We should go check it out. No matter how hard we think about it, we're not going to figure anything out about the brood just standing here. So we should take care of the business at hand. The investigation! So let's get going. You know how to get to Sin City, right? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. But yes, we have Nina back in our party. She's... not very strong. She has leveled up a bit. Oh, she learned Drain. Blunt, slow, weaken. Okay. Uh, he hasn't learned anything else that's needed here. And I think her equipment... Is still mostly the same. Oh, but we have the gold hairpin for her, which, yeah, defense 14, weight 0, that is amazing. So you can have that. She has protection versus flame attacks, rings, boots. Okay. And tactics. We'll get defensive formation. That's good order. Okay. Yeah, we're, d we're done with the farm. Oh, we're on the side of the farm. Okay. Oh, and by the way, don't worry about McNeil. No matter how strong that tiger is, he won't be able to break into the castle. Okay, then. So, we'll come up here, loop back around. Gar gets his big fat butt stuck on the fence. Nina gets stuck on Gar, and we're good to go. I think I was supposed to not come back to here. Whatever. Yeah, this part of the game, we might get punished a little bit for not upgrading Nina's defensive equipment before becoming an adult. But anywho, back to Yarl Road. Your patience, please. Uh, I am Princess Nina. Are you planning on continuing the investigation, Your Highness? Please be careful. Okay, I don't know where we're going. Thought. Can I? That's not what I wanted. Do I have to go? don't remember where we go. Was it to this place? I know it's not going to be downstairs in the thing yet. Okay, the, no. Oh, wait, I know. 
I do know where... Okay, I know where Sin City is. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go back through Mount Levette. It's, at, it's past that other checkpoint. Remember that I was wondering how we get past... And now you get to see Nina's adult animations. Uh, let's ignore the boss goblin. I don't really want to use magic on these guys. So, just do it like this. Of course, her critical attack is not that strong because, uh, well, we haven't upgraded her wand in quite a while, either. Uh, why don't we just show you... Yeah, there's her defensive stance. Pretty cool looking. And I'm sure at some point we're going to start using her magic. Actually, before this, before this, before this, before this, let's go back and see Mygus and see if we get everything that Mygus has to offer. Because then we're going to switch Nina over to... Emidi as a master. I don't know why the game insists on forcing me to travel through here to get... but whatever. Hello, Marcus. It's been some time. Nina, you deserve a reward. I give you this. Meditation. Oh, I can scarcely imagine it would be so, but do you want to quit? No. Okay, you... Uh, no, I don't accept this. You need more... I guess you're really obnoxious. Okay. I thought by this point we would have had enough levels underneath him to get the rest of his spells. Because we're also supposed to get Magic Ball and Typhoon. And I wanted to do that before switching Nina over to Emiti. I guess we'll still stick with Migus for a little bit. But I don't like the idea. Ooh, hey. Okay, let's show Nina's stuff. Yeah, see her wand is now glowing and that is really cool. Hey, don't don't be doing that. So, at this part of the game, Nina's low HP and um, low defense really starts to take its toll for a little bit. Yeah, we had that... Those two in intelligence downs really hurt. 
Yeah, I'll reuse leveling up. Oh, he learned Vitalize? Wow. Alright, cool. And we found berries. Perfect. So, as usual, just keep Nina healed up. And the quickest way back down is probably in through here. Because that just pops you out here. A single slasher, not much of a challenge. Stop doing that to Nina. I don't think we have to run through Ogre Road again. Though, I could be wrong about that, too. Okay, no, it's not gonna make us go back through Ogre Road. Um... Yeah, there's the checkpoint. Do I want to put Nina on... No, I don't want to put Nina on in MIDI yet. Um... Okay. Was I not supposed to come this way? That's just the mine. Oh, yes, here we go. Was... Did this path just not exist before? Did I miss this path? How did I manage that? Oh, I should... Something's not right. That smell... It's blood. Yeah, we're, we're gonna hold the phone on that. Uh, well, in this case, I'm pretty sure... Could we not have come here before? Whatever, we're, we're definitely going to save now. And just to be sure... Okay, yep. Still assign the same masters. Oh, yeah, we still haven't gotten everything from my guess. Yeah, that minus three agility is nasty. Now, obviously, with some of these masters, to be the most efficient you can, you want to uh, be their apprentice at the lowest, your lowest level possible. Oh, this doesn't look good. 
mounted tiger. Re came and attacked the village. Everybody. A tiger came in and surprised us. Ow! That wasn't supposed to be on the menu. Yeah, the devastation. I'll stop smuggling charisma, I promise. Just don't hurt me. Looking for the boss, huh? No answer. He's dead. I told them they'd get in trouble if they didn't stop. I'll give you all my money if you'll give me some healing herbs. Oh, sure. I don't know if that does anything. A tiger came in and attacked us. Said he wanted the boss. The boss took off a long time ago. He probably ran off to the checkpoint up north. It was horrible. A monster. Is there anything in these crates new? I will take this. The old painting. The old painting? What am I going to do with an old painting? Appears valuable. Oh, okay, I'm going to sell it, apparently. A tiger. It has to be Re. He must have given up on McNeil and come here. He's still trying to make it up to himself for that time long ago when he couldn't protect Ryu. But, what's the point in doing that now? Besides, if he kills the boss, how will we be able to interrogate him? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna leave here, and is, if we go back, is the city still all, okay, yeah, there's a point we'll be able to go shopping here, uh, that point is obviously not right now. Let's just briefly check the fares, we've only got... It, we're at 28 minutes, so we'll just check the fairies and call that a video. And then we'll go to the checkpoint next time. What news do you have? Nothing new. Okay, well, then I guess that's that. Alright, well, next time we're going to go to the checkpoint in search for Re and the, uh, the boss of Sin City. And we'll see what goes down. So for now, I'll take my leave.